Ancient Egypt's rich history spans several millennia, showcasing a multitude of pharaohs who shaped its cultural, political, and economic landscape. Among these rulers was King Rameses, whose reign witnessed both remarkable achievements and a series of downfalls. Rameses's life, filled with conquests and ambitious building projects, culminated in a brutal execution that shook Egypt to its core. This video explores the life and times of Rameses, shedding light on the events leading up to his execution and the lasting impact of his demise on Egyptian history. Rameses's reign unfolded during the New Kingdom period, a time when Egyptian civilization reached its zenith. The pharaohs of this era expanded their borders through military conquests and fostered diplomatic relationships with neighboring kingdoms. The era is characterized by monumental architectural projects, which included temples, tombs, and statues celebrating the pharaoh's divine status. The New Kingdom period also saw the rise of a powerful centralized government, enabling the pharaohs to exert more control over their territories and subjects. Ramesses, like many of his contemporaries, was a warrior king who sought to secure Egypt's position as a regional superpower. His reign saw numerous military campaigns that aimed to expand Egypt's influence and consolidate its territories. However, these endeavors were met with mixed success, and some of Ramesses' decisions ultimately led to the decline of Egypt's power in the region. His reign was also marked by a fervent dedication to the construction of grandiose monuments, displaying the glory of his rule and reinforcing his divine authority. Yet despite his seemingly secure grip on power, a series of events set in motion the circumstances that would lead to his brutal execution. The political climate during Rameses' reign was rife with intrigue and tension. Factions within the royal court vied for power and influence, often resorting to plots and conspiracies. Amid this unstable environment, Rameses faced betrayals that not only undermined his authority, but also threatened his life. The culmination of these betrayals led to a shocking conspiracy that would result in his tragic end. The brutal execution of Rameses was a pivotal event in Egypt's history, demonstrating the fragility of power and the potential for even the most powerful of rulers to fall victim to treachery. The nature of his execution, which involved torture and public humiliation, further underscores the volatile nature of politics in ancient Egypt. Rameses' demise was not merely the result of one isolated act of betrayal. It was the product of a complex web of relationships, alliances, and rivalries that had been festering within the Egyptian court for years. In the chapters that follow, we will delve deeper into Rameses' life, and explore the factors that contributed to his rise and fall, ultimately leading to his brutal execution. Through a comprehensive examination of the political, social, and cultural contexts that surrounded Rameses, we aim to provide a clearer understanding of the events that transpired during his reign and their lasting implications for the history of ancient Egypt. To better understand the brutal execution of King Rameses, it is essential to examine his ascension to the throne and his early life, as these experiences undoubtedly shaped his reign and contributed to the decisions that would eventually seal his fate. Rameses was born into a royal lineage with a rich history of rulers who had successfully expanded Egypt's territories and solidified its reputation as a regional power. His father, Seti I, was a powerful and respected ruler known for his military campaigns, which had a profound impact on Rameses' own aspirations as a king. As the heir to the throne, Rameses received an education befitting a future pharaoh. He was instructed in the arts of governance, diplomacy, and warfare by the most skilled tutors in the kingdom. From a young age, Rameses was exposed to the intricacies of statecraft, and the responsibilities that accompanied his divine role. He was also steeped in religious teachings and rituals, which instilled in him a profound sense of duty to uphold the divine order of Mott. The concept of balance and harmony that governed both the cosmos and human society. In his early adulthood, Ramus has gained practical experience as a military commander under his father's tutelage. Seti first appointed Rameses to various high-ranking positions within the military, affording him opportunities to learn from seasoned veterans and develop his own leadership skills. These experiences proved invaluable when Rameses ascended to the throne following his father's death. Upon his coronation, Rameses embarked on a mission to build on his father's legacy and expand Egypt's influence throughout the ancient world. 
His ambitions manifested in numerous military campaigns against neighboring kingdoms, particularly those in the Levant and Nubia. In these conflicts, Rameses sought not only to annex territory, but also to project Egypt's power and prestige by subjugating its enemies and forming alliances with other powerful states. Rameses' military campaigns were met with varying degrees of success. Some of his campaigns resulted in significant territorial gains and the establishment of Egyptian control over strategic regions, while others ended in costly stalemates or humiliating defeats. Nonetheless, Rameses's relentless pursuit of expansion earned him a reputation as a formidable warrior king, both within Egypt and abroad. His early years on the throne also saw the beginning of an extensive building program that would define his reign. Ramesses commissioned the construction of numerous monuments, temples, and statues that celebrated his achievements and the divine nature of his rule. These projects served both religious and political purposes, as they reaffirmed the pharaoh's status as a god-king and a manifestation of the god's will on earth. Among his most famous architectural endeavors was the construction of the Ramesseum, a grand mortuary temple on the west bank of the Nile near modern-day Luxor. The temple's walls were adorned with intricate reliefs depicting Rameses' military victories and his offerings to the gods. Another iconic project was the creation of the colossal statues at Abu Simbel, which stood at the entrance to a temple dedicated to Rameses himself, as well as the gods Amun, Rahorakti, and Ptah. These statues, measuring up to 66 feet in height, were an awe-inspiring testament to the pharaoh's divine power and his indomitable ambition. While Ramesses' early reign was characterized by a focus on military conquests and monumental architecture, his later years saw a shift in priorities as internal challenges began to emerge. The rapid expansion of Egypt's territories had led to increased strain on the kingdom's resources, both in terms of material wealth and human capital. This strain was exacerbated by the growing power of the priesthood, which had amassed significant wealth and influence within the royal court. As tensions between different factions of the Egyptian elite grew, so too did the risk of internal strife and rebellion. To maintain his grip on power and ensure the continued stability of his kingdom, Rameses turned his attention to internal affairs. He implemented a series of administrative and economic reforms aimed at consolidating his control over the various provinces and reducing the influence of the powerful priesthood. These measures, however, were met with resistance from certain factions, which viewed the reforms as an encroachment on their traditional rights and privileges. In an effort to quell dissent and reinforce his authority, Rameses embarked on a campaign to suppress potential rebellions and eliminate any perceived threats to his rule. He ordered the execution of suspected conspirators and dissenters, sending a clear message that disloyalty would not be tolerated. Unfortunately, these heavy-handed tactics would ultimately contribute to his undoing. Despite the challenges that emerged during his reign, Rameses managed to maintain his authority and preside over a period of relative stability in Egypt. However, the seeds of his brutal execution had already been sown. As the ruler's focus shifted inward, those who felt marginalized or threatened by his actions began to plot against him. The stage was set for a betrayal that would send shockwaves throughout the ancient world and bring about the tragic end of King Rameses. Rameses' reign was marked by a series of notable accomplishments, as well as significant downfalls, which together provide a comprehensive picture of his impact on Egypt's history. This chapter explores the most significant achievements and challenges of Rameses' rule, from military conquests and architectural marvels, to economic difficulties and internal unrest. One of the most striking aspects of Rameses' reign was his relentless pursuit of military expansion. Building on his father's successes, Rameses launched numerous campaigns against Egypt's enemies, particularly in the Levant and Nubia. His battles often resulted in the annexation of new territories, further solidifying Egypt's status as a regional superpower. However, these campaigns also led to costly conflicts with powerful rivals, such as the Hittites, which strained Egypt's resources and damaged its reputation. Despite the setbacks encountered in his military campaigns, Rameses' reign was marked by an unprecedented surge in architectural projects. 
These constructions not only celebrated his reign and divine authority, but they also served as lasting testaments to Egypt's power and cultural achievements. The Ramesseum and Abu Simbel, discussed earlier, are prime examples of this architectural legacy. Under Ramesses' rule, Egypt's economy and culture flourished, trade networks expanded, allowing the kingdom to acquire valuable resources from distant lands. This influx of wealth enabled the pharaoh to finance grand building projects and support the arts, resulting in a cultural renaissance during his reign. However, this prosperity also came at a cost. The expansion of Egypt's territories and the demands of its growing population placed considerable strain on the kingdom's resources, leading to economic difficulties and internal unrest. One of Ramesses' most controversial policies was his effort to curb the influence of the powerful priesthood. He believed that the clergy's growing wealth and political power threatened the stability of his rule, so he implemented a series of reforms to bring them under his control. While these measures were successful in reducing the priesthood's influence, they also generated resentment and opposition, ultimately contributing to the conspiracy that would lead to his brutal execution. The brutal execution of King Ramesses was the culmination of a complex web of political intrigue, betrayals, and shifting alliances within the Egyptian royal court. This chapter delves into the conspiracy that led to Ramesses' downfall, revealing the key figures involved in the plot, their motivations, and the consequences of their actions. The seeds of the conspiracy that would eventually bring about Ramesses' execution were sown in the years preceding his death. As previously discussed, the pharaoh's efforts to assert control over Egypt's various factions, including the powerful priesthood, generated resistance and unrest among certain elements of society. These factions, feeling threatened by the king's authoritarian rule, began to secretly plot against him. The conspiracy against Rameses was not limited to disaffected nobles and priests. Members of the royal family and high-ranking officials within the court also played a role in orchestrating the coup. Their motivations for turning against the pharaoh were varied, ranging from personal grievances and ambitions for power to ideological disagreements with Ramesses' policies. For some conspirators, the opportunity to bring about change and secure a more favorable position within the political hierarchy was too enticing to resist. The plot against Ramesses was intricately planned and meticulously executed. The conspirators took great care to avoid detection, employing secret codes and clandestine meetings to communicate their plans. They also sought to secure the loyalty of key military commanders and officials, ensuring that the coup would have the necessary support to succeed. Central to their plot was the recruitment of insiders within the royal palace, who could provide valuable intelligence on the king's movements and vulnerabilities. As the conspiracy gathered momentum, its members became increasingly bold, attempting to exploit Ramesses' weaknesses and undermine his authority. Acts of sabotage and misinformation were employed to create chaos and confusion, further destabilizing the kingdom and eroding confidence in the pharaoh's rule. The conspirators also sought to turn influential individuals against Ramesses, including foreign diplomats and leaders, in a bid to isolate the king and weaken his grip on power. The turning point in the conspiracy came when the plotters managed to infiltrate the king's inner circle, securing the allegiance of some of his most trusted advisors and confidants. These betrayals were a devastating blow to Ramesses, who found himself increasingly isolated and vulnerable as the net closed in around him. It was at this point that the conspirators made their move, launching a coordinated assault on the king and his loyalists. In the chaos that ensued, Ramesses was captured and subjected to a humiliating trial, during which the conspirators accused him of numerous crimes and failings, including incompetence, tyranny, and sacrilege. Despite the king's attempts to defend himself and assert his innocence, the outcome of the trial was a foregone conclusion. Ramesses was sentenced to a brutal execution, designed to serve as both punishment and a public spectacle. The execution of Ramesses was a carefully orchestrated affair, intended to send a clear message to the Egyptian populace about the consequences of defying the new power structure. Ramesses was subjected to torture and mutilation before being publicly executed. A grisly display of the conspirators' ruthlessness and determination to seize control of the kingdom. The execution was also steeped in religious symbolism, 
with the conspirators accusing Rameses of violating the divine order of Mott and therefore justifying their actions as a restoration of balance and harmony. The aftermath of Rameses' execution was a period of turmoil and upheaval as various factions within Egypt jostled for power and control. The conspirators had hoped that by eliminating the pharaoh, they would be able to usher in a new era of stability and prosperity for the kingdom. However, their actions had unforeseen consequences, setting in motion a chain of events that would lead to further instability and strife. The successful coup emboldened other ambitious figures within the Egyptian elite, who saw an opportunity to advance their own interests and agendas. Power struggles ensued as various factions vied for control, with alliances forming and dissolving in the rapidly changing political landscape. The resulting instability weakened Egypt's central authority, undermining its ability to effectively govern its vast territories and maintain order. Furthermore, the brutal execution of Rameses had a profound impact on Egypt's international standing. Neighboring kingdoms, who had once respected and feared Egypt's power, began to view the kingdom as vulnerable and unstable. This perception encouraged some states to challenge Egypt's authority in the region, leading to increased conflict and the eventual decline of its regional influence. The chaos that followed Rameses' execution also created fertile ground for religious upheaval. As the authority of the pharaoh was called into question, the powerful priesthood sought to assert its own dominance within the religious sphere. The erosion of the traditional balance between the secular and religious realms ultimately contributed to the weakening of Egypt's political and social structures, further exacerbating the kingdom's decline. The legacy of King Rameses is a complex and multifaceted one, reflecting both his accomplishments and his tragic end. In this chapter, we will explore the ways in which Rameses' reign, and particularly his brutal execution, shaped Egyptian history and left a lasting impact on the kingdom's political, social, and cultural spheres. First and foremost, Rameses' reign serves as a testament to the potential for even the most powerful rulers to fall victim to betrayal and treachery. The conspiracy that led to his execution highlights the dangers inherent in the pursuit of power, as well as the fickle nature of political alliances in the ancient world. The fall of Rameses serves as a cautionary tale for subsequent generations, illustrating the need for rulers to maintain a delicate balance between authority and diplomacy to ensure their survival. In the realm of military conquests and expansion, Rameses's reign marked both significant achievements and costly setbacks. His ambitious campaigns to extend Egypt's borders resulted in some territorial gains, but also exposed the kingdom to threats from powerful rivals. The repercussions of his military decisions continued to be felt long after his death, as Egypt's weakened position in the region ultimately contributed to its decline. The monumental architecture commissioned during Rameses' reign remains one of the most enduring legacies of his rule. Structures such as the Ramesseum and Abu Simbel stand as iconic testaments to Egypt's cultural and artistic achievements during this time, and they continue to captivate visitors and scholars alike today. These monuments not only celebrate Ramesses' accomplishments, but also serve as a reminder of the heights to which ancient Egyptian civilization aspired. Ramesses' brutal execution and the subsequent power struggles that engulfed Egypt had a profound impact on the kingdom's social and political structure. The upheaval weakened the central authority of the pharaoh, setting the stage for increased fragmentation and division within the Egyptian state. This breakdown in the traditional balance of power ultimately hastened Egypt's decline, as its once formidable influence in the region waned and its internal stability eroded. Finally, Rameses' reign provides a valuable case study in the complexities of ancient Egyptian religious and political dynamics. His efforts to curtail the power of the priesthood highlighted the delicate relationship between the secular and religious spheres, and the resulting backlash had far-reaching consequences for the kingdom. The turmoil that followed Rameses' execution marked a turning point in Egypt's history, as the religious order sought to assert its dominance and redefine the role of the pharaoh within the divine hierarchy. Although millennia have passed since the reign and execution of King Ramesses, the echoes of his legacy can still be felt today. In this final chapter, we will explore the ways in which Ramesses' story continues to resonate in the modern world.
shaping our understanding of ancient Egyptian civilization and inspiring contemporary culture. The most obvious manifestation of Ramesses' legacy in modern times is the enduring fascination with ancient Egyptian history and culture. The magnificent monuments and art created during his reign continued to capture the imaginations of visitors, scholars, and enthusiasts worldwide. As a result, Ramesses remains a central figure in the popular narrative of ancient Egypt, and his story serves as a gateway for many to delve deeper into the study of this fascinating civilization. Ramesses' life and reign have also provided rich material for creative works in various media, including literature, film, and art. His story has inspired numerous fictional adaptations and reinterpretations, highlighting the timeless appeal of his rise to power, his accomplishments, and his dramatic downfall. Through these works, Ramesses' legacy is continually reimagined and kept alive in the collective imagination, ensuring that his impact on ancient Egypt remains relevant and accessible to modern audiences. Furthermore, the political and social upheavals that characterized Ramesses' reign and the aftermath of his execution provide valuable insights into the nature of power dynamics and governance in the ancient world. The lessons gleaned from his story can be applied to contemporary political discourse as they shed light on the complex interplay between ambition, loyalty, and the pursuit of power. By examining the forces that led to Ramesses' demise and the subsequent decline of Egypt, we can better understand the challenges faced by leaders throughout history and the enduring struggle to maintain a delicate balance between authority and diplomacy. The story of King Ramesses does not end with the fading echoes of his legacy in the modern world. As archaeological discoveries and scholarly research continue to shed new light on his reign and execution, our understanding of this enigmatic ruler and his place in history is constantly evolving. In this chapter, we will explore the ongoing efforts to rediscover and reassess the legacy of Ramesses, examining the ways in which new information is helping to reshape our perception of this ancient king. Archaeological investigations have been crucial in revealing previously unknown aspects of Ramesses' life and reign. Excavations at key sites associated with the king, such as the Ramesseum, Abu Simbel, and his capital city of Pi Ramesses, have yielded a wealth of artifacts and inscriptions that offer new insights into his accomplishments, beliefs, and the events surrounding his execution. These discoveries have expanded our knowledge of the historical context in which Ramesses lived and ruled, allowing us to better appreciate the complexities of his character and his actions. Advances in technology have also played a vital role in the ongoing reassessment of Ramesses' legacy. Sophisticated imaging techniques, such as ground-penetrating radar and 3D scanning, have enabled researchers to uncover hidden details and features within his architectural projects, shedding new light on the king's intentions and the cultural significance of these monuments. Similarly, the application of cutting-edge analytical methods to artifacts and human remains has provided valuable information on the diet health and lifestyles of the ancient Egyptians, enriching our understanding of the society over which Ramesses presided. Another key aspect of the rediscovery of Ramesses is the ongoing re-evaluation of his reign and execution by scholars and historians. As new evidence emerges and existing sources are re-examined, long-held assumptions and interpretations of his life are being challenged and revised. This process has led to a more nuanced and multifaceted view of Ramesses as a ruler, encompassing both his achievements and his failures, as well as the political and cultural context that shaped his actions. One area in which this reassessment has been particularly significant is the study of the conspiracy and betrayal that led to Ramesses' execution. New evidence and interpretations have cast doubt on the traditional narrative of the plot, suggesting that the motivations and actions of the conspirators may have been more complex and varied than previously believed. By delving deeper into the dynamics of the royal court and the society of the time, scholars are beginning to paint a more... If you love this kind of content, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We produce amazing videos with interesting topics in the future that are sure to interest you. You can subscribe now and hit the notification bell. Mystery Code